Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to us, has always grabbed astronomers' attention. It's a small, reddish star spotted back in 1915. It's part of the Alpha Centauri system, which also has two other stars, Alpha Centauri A and B. Even though it's pretty close, only 4.24 light years away, you can't see it without a telescope because it's not that bright. Still, Proxima Centauri is super valuable for science, mainly because it has a planet called Proxima B. This planet orbits inside the star's habitable zone, which is where liquid water could exist. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are smaller, cooler, and last way longer than stars like our sun. They're not very bright, which makes them hard to study. But it also means their habitable zones are much closer in. For Proxima Centauri, that means Proxima B is only about 0.05 astronomical units away, way closer than Earth is to the Sun. Because it's so close, Proxima B gets hit with lots of solar flares and radiation, making it a pretty different place than Earth. Finding Proxima B was a huge deal for people studying planets outside our solar system. Scientists saw tiny wobbles in Proxima Centauri's movement, caused by the pull of a planet orbiting it. These wobbles let them guess the planet's size and how long it takes to orbit the star. In 2016, some researchers officially said Proxima B was real, which was a big step in the search for planets that might be able to support life. We've learned a lot about Proxima B from telescopes on Earth, but those telescopes have their limits. The atmosphere and light mess things up, making it hard to see details about the planet's surface or atmosphere. Most of what we know, like its size, distance, and orbit, comes from educated guesses. To really figure out Proxima b, we need better tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Proxima Centauri is like a doorway to understanding other planetary systems. Since it's our closest neighbor, it gives us a great chance to see what it takes for life to exist on other planets. Proxima b is especially interesting because it's a rocky, Earth-sized planet that might have water and maybe even life. It's going to take some work for scientists to solve since it's a very difficult and complicated situation. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, isn't just another telescope. It's a game changer. It was made to fix the problems the Hubble Space Telescope had and to push our knowledge even further. Hubble has taught us a lot but it mainly sees visible and ultraviolet light. JWST, on the other hand, is designed to see infrared light, which lets it see through dust clouds and find stuff Hubble couldn't. One of the key things about JWST is its big mirror, which is 6.5 meters across, more than twice the size of Hubble's. This lets JWST gather way more light, so it can see really faint and far-off objects. The mirror is coated in gold to help it see infrared light better. It's also made of 18 pieces that work together perfectly. Another cool thing is JWST's sun shield, which keeps the telescope super cold, around minus 233 degrees Celsius. This is important for seeing faint infrared light without the telescope's own heat messing things up. Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth, JWST hangs out at a spot about 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. This spot keeps Earth's heat and light from interfering with JWST's observations. JWST can study all sorts of things, from the first galaxies to the atmospheres of planets like Proxima b. Its ability to see infrared light is especially useful for studying objects whose light has been stretched out as the universe expands. JWST isn't just about looking at stuff. It's designed to answer big questions about where galaxies come from, how stars are born, and what it takes for life to exist on other planets. With its high-tech tools, JWST is like a time machine, a laboratory, and a symbol of human creativity. Proxima b has gotten a lot of attention because it might be another Earth. It sits in the habitable zone of its star, which means it could have liquid water, a key ingredient for life. It's about 1.17 times the size of Earth, so it's probably a rocky planet like ours. And since it's only a little over 4 light years away, it's a good target for studying whether life could exist elsewhere. Still, Proxima b isn't exactly like Earth. One side of the planet always faces its star, while the other side is always dark. This makes the temperatures on each side very different. 
The line between the day and night sides might be a place where life could survive with the proper moderate conditions. It's tough on Proxima B. The flares could strip away the planet's atmosphere. To survive, Proxima B would probably need a strong magnetic field to protect it from radiation emitted from its own star Proxima Centauri. Despite these problems, scientists are still hopeful about there being life on Proxima B. The planet could have liquid water and life might be able to handle the harsh conditions, like on Earth animals which thrive in extreme places, such as underwater and places known for high radiation. Looking for life on Proxima B is bigger than just science. It's wanting to know if we are the only people in the universe. Proxima B star, Proxima Centauri, is not like our sun. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star, so it is smaller, colder, and not as bright. Its location means that Proxima B is close to the star. One very big issue is that Proxima Centauri has flares and radiation. Without magnetic field, it is possible that any atmosphere would be exposed to radiation. Even if Proxima B has atmosphere, the radiation makes it tough for life to thrive. On Earth there are creatures that evolve to make sure that don't damage from radiation. Possibly Proxima B has something that has entirely new form of biochemistry. There could be a way that Proxima B is safe because of it being tightly locked. Possibly hiding in subsurface oceans where microbial life that is close to the Earth might thrive. The planet can be for more study and in close distance to Earth for an ideal person. If we want to find life, here may be the ideal first place to look. So that can remind you that even in harshest places, there is also life. It will be useful and insightful to find life in outer space and Proxima B. One reason JWST is so good is its massive mirror, which is over twice the size of Hubble's. This lets it gather way more light, so it can see really faint stuff that's far away. The mirror has a thin layer of gold to help it see infrared light even better. It's also made of 18 pieces that fit together perfectly. JWST also has a giant sun shield that keeps its instruments super cold, about minus 233 degrees Celsius. This is super important because it needs to stay cold to see faint infrared signals without the telescope's own heat messing things up. And unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth, JWST hangs out at a spot about 1.5 million kilometers away where it can watch the universe without Earth getting in the way. JWST can study everything from the first galaxies to the air around planets like Proxima b. Seeing in infrared is a big deal because it lets astronomers study stuff that's been stretched out as the universe expands. JWST should help answer some big questions, like where galaxies come from, how stars are made, and if there are other places where life could survive. With its cool instruments like the Near Infrared Camera, NIR Cam, and the Mid Infrared Instrument, MIRI, JWST is like a time machine, a lab, and a symbol of how smart humans can be. Everyone's excited about Proxima B because it might be another Earth. It's in the right spot to have liquid water which is key for life. It's about 1.17 times the size of Earth, so it's probably rocky like us. And since it's only a little over 4 light years away, it's a great place to look for life. But Proxima B isn't perfect. One side always faces its star, so it's always day on that side and always night on the other. This makes the temperatures super different between the two sides. The line between day and night might be the best spot for life because it might have okay temperatures. Life on Proxima B would have to deal with a lot. Its star, Proxima Centauri, sends out a ton of solar flares with X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. These flares could destroy the planet's air over time. If Proxima B has any air left, it probably needs a strong magnetic field to protect it from radiation. Without that, the surface would be a tough place for life. Even with these problems, scientists are hopeful. If there's life on Proxima B, it might have adapted to the harsh conditions like those weird creatures on Earth that live in extreme places. This could mean life that can handle radiation, lives underground, or uses different chemicals. Looking for life on Proxima B is about more than just science. It's about answering a big question, are we alone? Proxima B is a promising start, a rocky planet that could have what it takes for life. As our technology gets better, 
we'll be able to explore this planet more and find out its secrets. Proxima B's biggest challenge is its star, Proxima Centauri. Unlike our sun, Proxima Centauri is a red star, smaller, cooler, and dimmer. That means its habitable zone is much closer, so Proxima B is only about 5 cents away, which is super close. One problem is that Proxima Centauri has lots of solar flares, which shoot out X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. These flares are stronger and happen more often on red stars. For Proxima B, this means constant radiation that can strip away its air. Without a good magnetic field, any air on Proxima B would be gone, leaving the surface exposed. Even if Proxima B has some air, all that radiation would still be hard on life. Ultraviolet radiation can break apart molecules, which makes it tough for complex stuff to form. Life on Proxima B might need to be super resistant to radiation, maybe even using weird chemicals. Interestingly, Proxima B always has one side facing its star, which might help a bit. The dark side could be a safe place to hide from radiation. Maybe there are underground spots or oceans that protect life. Despite these problems, scientists are still curious. Proxima B's crazy environment is a chance to see how life can adapt. By watching how things survive there, we can learn more about what makes a planet livable. Proxima B is a great place to test the limits of life. It's close to us and in the habitable zone, making it perfect for studying. With new telescopes, Proxima B will stay in the spotlight. If we find life somewhere else, Proxima B might be the first place we look. It reminds us that life can find a way even in tough spots. As we keep exploring, Proxima B will help us figure out if we're alone. The search for life isn't just a project for now, it's for generations. As we learn more about the universe, we'll keep looking for planets that could have life. Proxima B, with its challenges, shows how much we want to explore. Whether we find life there or not, trying will lead to new discoveries. It's a search that might answer one of our biggest questions, are we alone? As we explore, what we learn about planets like Proxima B will help us understand where else life might be. Looking for livable planets is exciting. With telescopes and new technology, we might find out if life exists somewhere else. It's not just about finding life, it's about understanding how planets change, how life starts, and what it needs to survive. We need to study the planets, their stars, their air, and the events that shape them. As we go further into space, we'll learn more and change how we see things. Proxima B shows how amazing and complicated this search is. It might seem like a bad place to live, but that's why it's important. The more we learn about Proxima B, the more we learn about where life could possibly exist. If life can live in such harsh conditions, it would open up possibilities. The future will bring us closer to answering these questions. New telescopes will let us see deeper into space and study planets in detail. We might find other Earth-like planets or evidence of life, which would change everything. Proxima B is a reminder of how curious and determined scientists are. It's a world that makes us wonder what's out there and keep searching for answers. Whether we find life on Proxima B or not, Wanting to learn will keep us going, inspiring new ideas and future explorers. So, the journey continues, and the search for life is far from over. Every new mission brings us closer to understanding our place in the universe. Proxima B is just one example, but it's already helped us a lot. The search for life is something we all share, and the hope of finding other life is one of our greatest goals.